Hey everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild, giving you guys a quick start guide to using the Ready Rig. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me to do this just so that you can get up to speed real quick when using the Ready Rig. And so, real easily, real quick here, um, this is the uh, very nice backpack it comes with. Lots of side pockets. Um, it actually has hidden backpack straps so that you can carry it like a backpack. You can stuff those away. Actually, pretty nice, handy, and uh, very big backpack, which is great because you can, I actually usually put my uh, Cinemilled Pro Ring in there also. You can break it down, as you know, and put it in there, and you put some accessories. And I've even traveled uh, over internationally with, uh, with the bag and the ready rig and the whole thing. So um, let's get straight into it. Um, I would probably want to start off with <clears throat> the handlebar straps. So you guys have a couple of these in your kit and here's a handlebar tube just to, so I can demonstrate. And so obviously this is a very important part because it's holding your gimbal onto the ready rig and you don't want it to fall. If you do it right, there's absolutely no way it's going to fall. So basically, you know, if you look at it, it's, it wraps in and around and attaches and then there's this extra flap here that's almost like a safety so that it can't go. So um, maybe I'll do a little close up right now so you can see exactly how it laces up. So, you know, there's the tube. It goes around the tube like that. I make it fairly tight and it wraps all the way around. And then I put the safety strap over it and there you go. So that's how you attach the straps <clears throat> personally. Um, I'm always using the ready rig, so I usually leave these straps attached to my handlebars. Um, as you can see here, I got the straps attached to the handlebars right here, and they're ready to go. <clears throat> I usually, like I said, I usually leave them on there. So let's quickly go over the assembly. Let me open the bag here. So really simple. You have the arms, the carbon fiber rods, and I'll put that right there. <clears throat> you have the two shoulder, shoulder supports, and then you have the main, the, main, the main part, the main system, the main uh, vest system. So <clears throat> basically, just to, to remember, this is just a quick start guide. It's not really in depth. The top section adjusts for torso length. So you can see right there that goes up and down. So short person, me, I'm 5'11", and so I, I use it with two holes showing up top. The bottom is a preload. So the higher up you move this, the more pre-tensioning you put on the elastics. So basically, <clears throat> if, it's, you know, if, if it's dropping too far, if you have a really heavy load, you're going to want to raise this up. If you have a very lightweight, like a Ronin M or an MX or a M, uh, Movi M5, you can drop this down. And there you go. So the large uh, bungee uh, strap goes around the bottom like so and through those holes, and I usually leave it assembled. Um, these are the, the bolts that uh, secure the shoulder portions. I leave them in there like that. Uh, some people back them off too far. They can fall out. You can lose them. So... Just be careful of those. So here is the shoulder support. So of course there is a left and a right. Really easy to tell which is left, which is right. The little wings here obviously go towards the outside. So basically in this case, there you go. See the wing is on the outside. You wouldn't want it, you wouldn't want it over here because then it's right next to your face. So <clears throat> wings to the outside. So here you go. So basically, there's the wing right there. I just slide it in there, tighten the knob right here, and you're done. Take that side, slide it in there, turn the knob, bam. And okay, so then the last step here is connecting the carbon fiber rods. <clears throat> so as you might see here, there's a little winglet here with a uh, adjustable handle there that um, locks it in place. Um, first off, there's a securing pin on the back. You're gonna wanna take that off. And then you thread it through the hole. 
Now, always leave the, what I call a kip handle on the outside so you can grab it and make adjustments. And then take the securing bolt, go through the rivet hole right there and thread it into the end of the rod. Just like so. And before you tighten it, make sure that that is pointing up. I sort of put a little bit of tension there and then I tighten the kip handle. There you go and that's it. And so I'm gonna do the same thing again here real quick. Take off the, the uh, bolt in the back. Make sure the knob is pointing out. Slide the rod in. Slide the bolt through the, the rivet hole there. And there you go. And then thread that in. Until it's snug, I, I don't really see a need to like really crank these down. It's not like they're under pressure, so they're not gonna get loose. So I just add a little bit of tension there and I crank it down. So, <clears throat> all right, we're ready to put it on. So, uh, is these straps, which are basically just like safety straps <clears throat> so that the rig doesn't fall backwards. If you try to tension this without having those straps on, you see how it fell backwards? So, ah, just like that. So, obviously, you want to avoid that. So, the first thing you do when you throw this on is connect the straps. That way, there's no way this is gonna fall down and hit somebody that's standing behind you. And um, once again, these straps, they're just there so that it doesn't fall back. So there's really no need to have them tight. You can have them loose. They're not like a backpack. The whole point of the ready rig, <clears throat> and I'll show you in a second here. So you just loosen the Velcro right there and snap together. And so at this point, you're ready to tension the waist. And so what I do is I like to, to grab each side and sort of pull evenly. And make sure it's nice and snug. Now, as soon as I, I, you can see it moving back, and of course, as soon as you've got tension on there, it, it goes into place. And obviously, that's why you have these straps is so that it doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> so a quick note. Um, don't make the mistake of not having the, the waist belt snug. Uh, that's probably the most important part to making this whole system work. One is obviously having the right torso length right, uh, right here. The other one is to having a nice amount of pretension. Sometimes after I even have the, the, the rig on for a little bit, I even cinch it up a little bit more. The reason being is <clears throat> the tighter this is to your body, just like a Steadicam vest, um, the better it distributes the weights into your legs. And that's really the goal here. Um, you should not be feeling anything in your back. If you are, you're probably using this wrong. <clears throat> and so one quick note here, you'll see how it's kind of floating above my shoulder. And that's really how it should be because the whole design of the ready rig is really for it not to push down on your shoulders. The idea is your shoulders shouldn't get tired. And these are built of a very strong special steel that doesn't bend. So the idea is for all the force that's come through the rods to go into here, go down the, the back spine frame and into your waist, which then puts all the pressure into your quads, which is the biggest muscle on your body. And it's the one that you should be bearing most of the weight. So <clears throat> basically after we've tensioned the, the waist, and we have a nice fitment over here as far as the height on the back. You're pretty much ready to go and ready to use this thing. And so the <clears throat> obviously, since we just set it up, the arms are not at the right tension. So the way to do this is I grab my opposite hand to hold the rod. I loosen the kip handle and you can pull out and down like this. When they're horizontal, they move in and out the easiest. And so with the other hand, I have my hand on the kip handle here and I sort of get a feel and I think it's probably around here somewhere. So now let me do the other one. And right there. And then I tighten it. 
And so, okay, so now we got a, a, a good starting point. <clears throat> so you can bow a little bit, that helps, but you can just, the technique here is to overhand it. So um, where's my, uh, oh, the tube's down there. So basically go from the outside and use your wrist here to pull down on the rod. And so when, what that leaves is, it leaves this hand open to do what? To pull up on the, the release pin right here. So once again, you go on the outside, pull the rod down, pull up on the pin, and slide the, the clip in, and then make sure it's closed. And then the same thing, you could see here what I did. And then, there you go, and then you're ready to pick up. So, <clears throat> the first thing I do is check the tension. As you can see here, it's not enough tension, so it's sitting way too low. So, what do we do? We hold it right here. We wanna shorten these, so I'm pushing back in and I can let go and see where it is. And I tighten it there. Now, of course, this one has more tension. This one has less. It's sitting off like this. So what I'm gonna wanna do, of course, is now adjust this one. So I go in a little bit. And now I can see this one has too much tension. So I am gonna go out there. There we go. So, you know, where to have it. So it depends on what your shot you're doing. So, you know, right here is maybe an actor's face. I'm kind of tall. So, you know, <clears throat> if a lot of schools of thought here, some people like to have it so this sags down a little bit so that you're actually picking up a little bit of weight. Um, and some people like it so that it's, it's more tension so that it sits a little higher. And for me, it all depends on where, where, what the height of the shot you're doing. So if, if I'm going to be operating mostly up here, I'll have more tension like I have now. Um, if I'm seeing steps in my footage, my tendency is to take some tension out. So I'm going to do that right now. And it's going to sag a little bit more. And I find that when it's, when it's a little bit negative, meaning it's, it's sort of sinking, it sort of isolates the steps a little bit better. So there you go. We got a nice full boom range, really nice. You can actually achieve a few dolly uh, sort of slider shots like this. And um, it's a great, great setup. And that's, that's pretty much the quick start guide. Um, a couple of important notes. You can use this in one arm mode. <clears throat> so if you just put a regular camera on here, uh, some people do one arm mode so that they can run forwards and look back. Um, we have our, our cinnamilled swivel here right now, so you can see it's easy to sort of spin it. Uh, it's really easy to spin it. <laughs> um, but without the swivel, <clears throat> this, this is locked together. You see how it's a little bit hard. It resists your panning movement a little bit. So what you can do is bring the straps closer together, and then it becomes easier to pan. So that's one technique. So you can play with how far apart the straps are. And I do quite a bit. I encourage you to experiment and play with your new tool and practice a lot. Um, with a little bit of practice, you get really good results out of, out of the ready rig. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why it's becoming more and more popular. It's uh, a sort of simple engineering that works really well, is really comfortable on your body, gives you a lot of a very wide range of movement, which is probably my most favorite part of the ready rig is just the wide range of movement you have. And so remember how I said, once you have the weight on here, you should still be able to fit your finger right here. See right there. So there's no tension on my shoulders. So that's how I like to set it up because that's the whole point is I don't want to, after I wear this for an hour, feel like I have been carrying a backpack. If there's very little tension on my shoulders, that means most of the weight is going into the waist belt, which is actually transferred into my legs. So there you go. That's your quick start guide for the ready rig. <clears throat> and uh, feel free to check out some of our other videos. Um, I'm going to do a couple more demos on some 
sort of tips and tricks on how to use a ready rig and things I like to do. And so we'll be sharing those with everybody uh, soon. But uh, anyways, this is your quick get shooting how to assemble video. All right, it was nice uh, being here with you guys. And so feel free to check more stuff out. We have lots of accessories for the ready rig. Uh, we have the Cinemilled Pro Ring. We have obviously lots of accessories for all, all, all gimbals. So feel free to check out our website, cinemilled.com, and I'll see you on set. Happy shooting.